look at this. I did not think lights would be so good. But I've literally got my hair scraped back and I've spent all day tidying today and yesterday and yet it's fucking 20 to 6 at night. <laughs> Hi everyone! First things first, I've switched up my filming location because I finally brought my tripod from home so I feel a lot more like a professional butcher again having my tripod set up and having a decent background. Um, I also have two big ass soft boxes which I feel way too unprofessional to be using but like what I can see on the viewfinder is pretty good. <laughs> we'll see how it goes when I export it all. But I'm just, I'm very excited, I'm feeling good. And I thought what better way to celebrate my good mood than by reacting to an old video, namely my five star predictions video, and then feel really shit because I've probably not read any of them yet. <laughs> So this is a 12 minute video that I posted on the 30th, 20th, I can't see, 20th of October 2018. So we're coming up on two years and I can't remember what books I talk about in this but apparently I thought they were going to be five stars. Part of me is a little worried that I'm going to have read all of them and it's just going to be me being like yeah I read it, it was good or yeah I read it, it was shit and not like oh my god I haven't read this book yet but we're just gonna watch it and we're gonna find out and see what happens. Hi everyone! Today I want to share with you guys some of my five star predictions. By no means an extensive list, there's only like ten, well there's ten authors, there's some like duplicate authors in here. Okay, I thought I was gonna do like five five star predictions but I have ten authors with possibly two or three of their books. Now I'm scared. And now I have regrets. Surprisingly, there's only really maybe two or three that I'm like, yes, this will be five stars. The rest, I just kind of pick out of the quite few that I'm like, oh yeah, this could be five stars. So I've done a five star predictions with only a few books that I'm like, this will be five stars. And then I've just went, eh, maybe, and pulled out the rest. So basically I've picked out any book on my TBR because the majority of them I'm just like well you could be five stars but I don't know. What the? So clearly I've picked books that I'm going to be excited for. That, that must be what I've done because I think my intentions with this video was to react to it in a year not a year and a half later. Um, let's, let's just watch it. Stars, like if that makes sense like I have my this will be five stars and I've got the I think this will be five stars but I'm not too sure. So, you guys don't care. Basically, these are the books that I think I'm going to really, really enjoy, for the most part. <laughs> My intro is still the same. First, we have the book that I still can't believe I haven't read. I'm going to have read it. Know me and know my obsession with all things français. <laughs> well, so Lame is. No, I've read that then. And that is, of course, The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. This is the English edition. I want to read the French edition, but I'm going to read the English one first. Well, I've read The Little Prince and I didn't rate it. And I don't mean that in the slang, like, oh, I didn't rate that. I literally did not give it a star rating because I did not love it. I was pretty let down by the book. I don't know, it just didn't vibe with me. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if I was in a slump at the time. I do know that it's one that I want to give another go. I think I just expected something different than what I got. I do actually, behind me, that stack of books bar Hank Green's new book. The, pretty much every book on that stack bar like two are books that I want in French. Um, one of them being The Little Prince in French, another being The Little Prince in French and in English, like side by side. Um, and it's a book that I do intend to like be one of the first ones I read in French just because I've already read it I'll read it like in French with English, but yeah, uh, we're, we're starting out strong literally didn't even give the book a star rating <laughs> so um At least I've read it. That's what I'm taking from this. At least I have read it. Also Tom if you're watching this I'm really sorry, but I really liked watching the movie with you at the last Wednesday at Yalk. We didn't watch it at Yalk. We watched it um, in Ashley's flat <laughs> um, 
I did like the film. The film was great, so. Maybe I'll love the book now. Did I read the book first? I don't know. Next, I have a book that will absolutely kill me to read because it weighs a fucking ton. I'm trying to think what this could be. Now, at this point, I have already read Les Miserables. The only other book that's heavy that I can think of, and I'm looking at the background where my Hamilton books are, um, and I don't see the Ron Chernow Alexander Hamilton book. However, at this point in my life, I was kind of not over Hamilton, but like I had seen it on Broadway and I was just like, I was kind of not dying down from the hype. Like I loved it and I appreciated it, but I wasn't fangirl over it like I have been the last couple of weeks. Thank you, Disney Plus. Wait, no, the Ron Chernow book is there. I was gonna say, like, it's definitely not a book I would rate five stars. I think I tried to read it by then anyway. Do you know what? Instead of just speculating, I should just watch it. <laughs> and that is The Invention of Hugo Cabaret by Brian Selznick. Um, I haven't read that yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's just, it's one of those that I, because I think, here's the thing, right? When I think a book is going to be five stars, I put off reading it because I'm scared that I won't give it five stars. It's one, I still think it'll be a five star read, but it's more one that I'm, not like heavily anticipating it to be five stars like I think it could be a four star maybe that's what I meant by the other books I put in here who knows what Emma meant I don't know what Emma meant okay haven't haven't read that one so at least it hasn't disappointed me every cloud every cloud <laughs> that should be, that's gonna be my new thing like me now justify stuff just gonna be like every cloud are the ones that I'm like will I actually give this five stars? I think these are more ones that I hope will be five stars. Don't we hope every book will be five stars? Surely? Without actually knowing too much about them. The Cresswell plot by Eliza Bass. I just feel like this will be a five star read. I mean, I know that's the premise of this whole video, but it's fairly short. I know pretty much nothing about it other than it involves a cult. And I haven't really read a good cult book yet. So I'm hoping this is the one. I haven't read that. Still love a good cult book. Haven't really found a good one. Well, no, I've, I've found good ones. I've just not found like amazing ones. I haven't found any that like jumped to the top of my head like this is a great cult book or read it. Again, it's one that I'm not desperate to get to as much as I probably was back then, but it's one that I do still really want to read and I know that I wouldn't unhaul. Like if you asked me to do like a quick glance at my bookshelves and be like, right, pull off the books you're definitely going to keep that would be one of them if that makes sense like you know what I mean like you are we all do our own hauls differently but it's just one of those I wouldn't like question I wouldn't say mm, will I like it's one that I'm like yes I'm going to keep that and read it eventually this next one I was dying to read when I got it and then it kind of tapered off in my interest every fucking book I get literally the minute I buy a book buzzing if it's one I've bought online the second it arrives buzzing put it down for like two seconds and I'm like ah, you're, you've been here a while now I'm used to you like your novelty's worn off and then it peaked, and then it tapered, and then it peaked, and then it tapered, and now I'm like, no, I do think I will love this, I just need to fucking read it. <laughs> and that is Everland by Wendy Spina Spinale? Spinale? I have read Ever um, Everland, and that was another disappointing book. I gave this one three stars. I I wanted to love it, I thought I'd love it. It, it let me down. Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna Maguire has been on my radar for so long. We are now onto Every Heart a Doorway and I am almost certain I gave that one five stars. Oh, I will just check my Goodreads. Oh, I gave it four stars. Shocking. To be fair, I don't remember very much about Every Heart a Doorway. Oh, I actually start my review saying that I fully expected it to be a five star read. Um, bring me book two ASAP. Yeah, I haven't, haven't got book two yet. I feel like nobody was talking about this book, but I saw Lala from Books and Lala talking about it. She like loved it. And then it was like a few weeks or months later, after like book two came out, everyone was obsessed. And I like, I was on the train before the train even existed. Now the train has left. Hipster. <laughs> I love how like, not subtle I'm being about the fact that I knew about this book because I watched Kayla's videos like chill hon chill and speaking of hype trains oh <laughs> this <laughs> I want to see what I'd say hold on Hugo of course 
the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid is on this list. I was not bothered about this when everyone started talking about it. I was like, it's like adult fiction, I don't care. And this book just went crazy. Like, there's hype and then there was this. I mean, absolutely nobody has shat on this book and I think that's why I haven't read it because I'm really worried that I'm gonna be that person that is like this book is fucking dreadful. I don't know where that cut off <laughs> but I am in hysterics because I basically foreshadowed Daisy Jones so at the time of filming this this was about a month or two before I was contacted by Penguin to be part of like a focus group for Daisy Jones and the Six and I got sent a copy of Daisy Jones, I read it before Christmas and I fucking hated it. With every fibre of my being I despised every second. If it weren't for the fact that I had to give Penguin proper feedback on the entire thing I would have DNF'd it and burnt it. I've still got my copy somewhere, I really need to like get rid of it. So my like excitement for Daisy Jones, it, for fucking Evelyn Hugo and like thinking it would be a five star because everyone said it's five star, really went out the window. Like I was so not gonna read Evelyn Hugo. So like basically I'm saying here like oh I don't want to read it because I don't want to be the person that shits on it. But then I shit on Daisy Jones instead. I have read Evelyn Hugo now, I read it earlier this year and I gave it four stars and I'm almost certain it's because I am just that bitter about Daisy Jones and I've had such weird feelings about Evelyn Hugo for the last like two years now that I just, I couldn't give it five stars. Had I read it when I made this video before Daisy Jones, I probably would have been on that hype train. I'm somewhat afraid of this book, I'm not gonna lie, Evelyn Hugo kinda scares me. Evelyn Hugo is a bad bitch and if you're not scared of her, you're wrong. This one is probably cheating a little because I feel like it's gonna get five stars even if I hate it. Wait. I bet you it's, hold on this is 2018, so the third book in the Wicked series, A Lion Among Men. It sounds really stupid but bear with me. Out of Oz. Oh, like, out of Oz. What idiot, Emma, 2018, yeah, I'm sitting, I got confused. I didn't read one last year but yeah. I knew it was gonna be the fucking Wicked years because we love them all. Maguire, this is the fourth and final book in the Wicked years, like saga, series, whatever. And I have given, did I give all the others five stars? I actually don't know, I probably did, I must have. I will have. I must have. I'm pretty sure I did. I gave Out of Oz five stars. Counting together as one because it's the same author and that is All That She Can See and When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Cope Fletcher. Yeah, I haven't read those either. And I'm pretty sure I have a third book, well, her fourth book to read. Party in the Street. Thank you. I loved her first book so much, which is why these two books are in this list. But I'm also fucking terrified that they're just not gonna live up to that first book, so I just keep putting them off because if I put them off, they can't disappoint me. Freaking loved on the other side, and shit, I really need to get on these. <laughs> shit, I really need to get on these. Two years later? <laughs> How funny, yeah, <laughs> I need to get on those. <laughs> And this one does sound like amazing because theatre, Carrie grew up in the theatre, she now works in theatre as well as being an author so like she's literally combining the two of my favourite things with obviously having an inside knowledge of theatre. I really do believe these will both be five stars. If you told me to pick which one I think would be five stars over the other it would be this one just because of the theatre content. Although this one does give me waitress vibes so you know. This one gives me waitress vibes. Bitch, if you've never seen Waitress, you've listened to like two songs on the soundtrack and you don't give a fucking shit about the show. In the same vein as Carrie Hope Fletcher, I have another two books from the same author. I have A Portable Shelter and The Gloving by Kirsty Logan. Listen, I don't read adult fiction a lot. <laughs> 
And again, I love the Grace Keepers and I am terrified that I will hate the gloaming. I have however read A Portable Shelter. So I gave A Portable Shelter four stars, which honestly for a short story collection that's like not my sort of thing, that's pretty decent. I actually very nearly brought the gloaming back to my grand's when I was bringing my tripod and stuff home. I'm getting really confused. Home is my mom's house but I've been living here so this feels like home. Basically when I went to get my tripod I was gonna pick up the gloaming because I was like oh I really need to read this already. But I was like no it'll be fine and now I'm like fucking wish I brought it and then I could be like hey look I've brought it to read like but no I just haven't read it yet. And finally Finally, finally. I'm so excited for this. Dear Evan Hansen, this is- This was the book that made me film this video, I believe, because I've literally got the receipt in there. I like went to the shop, bought a copy, and immediately went home. I was like, I need to tell people that this will be a five star read so I can like prove that I'm right. <laughs> it's a novel written by Val Emmett and- Do you know why I said that, Val Emmett? <laughs> I tried to say it both as Emmett and Emich in the one go so if people told me I pronounced it wrong I could be like no I actually did say it this way. I have been scared of people in the book community since 2018. The difference is now I'm just like fuck you come at me I will defend myself whereas back then I just tried to like not upset anybody which is you can't do that everyone's gonna be upset. Also I need to stop making every video, video have a discussion about booktube like can we just ignore it and just make it what we want like thank you people that like created the musical like had input on this and i am just so freaking excited i love the soundtrack to dear evan hansen and actually when <laughs> on my birthday Aaron and i just decided fuck it let's book tickets so we're seeing dear evan hansen Oh my god, a week today I'm seeing Drew Evan Hansen and Frozen on Broadway. So I'm so excited to watch the show and then come back and read this and see how they compare and yes, and I'm so glad I'm actually seeing the show because I really wanted to see it before I read the book and although it's coming to the West End, I don't know when I'm next time I get the chance to go to London. So hello fucking we are for Anne and I spontaneous <laughs> spending and I can't wait to read this. I did read German Hansen after I saw the musical. The musical was amazing. I don't know why I keep doing this like I'm fucking smoking. I, I will actually link both my long and short 2018 New York vlogs because you can see Aaron and I when we're at Jeremy Hansen. We try candy corn there. It was great. We had to do something to stop crying. But I did give it five stars. I really enjoyed it. And now I'm really sad because I have tickets to the official opening night of Frozen in the West End in November and obviously that's going to be postponed and I am very sad about it. But it's fine. I'll deal with it. It's fine. I didn't take any notes during that to like remind myself what I still haven't read. I know the Cresswell plot was one and um, Hugo Cabaret. I keep saying Hugo Cabaret but I know it's Cabaret like not caba. Anyway, irrelevant. There was probably other ones. I forgot. I don't care. I'm not gonna read them anytime soon. You know, I was at first, I was like, okay, I'll find out what they are and then I'll make sure to get copies of them and I'll like, I'll read all the Carrie Hope Fletcher books. Anyway, I was gonna get them and like read them and like be able to like properly wrap up the five star predictions, but like <laughs> that's effort. So no. So I hope you guys it, it enjoyed. What's an ick joy? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching me expose myself when I literally said two years ago that I needed to read those books really soon and I still haven't. If you want to see me like react to other videos like old hauls, that might be happening. I did attempt to film a reaction to my first ever haul but it was pathetic so I tried my second ever haul and it was boring <laughs> so we'll see what happens but thanks for watching don't forget to like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't leave a comment down below slap me in the face to stop me doing this what the fuck I'll see you in my next video